If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. When you add new vendors in Sage 50 Accounting, their default information matches the settings specified by your vendor defaults, which you can change if needed. Then all you need to enter is information unique to each vendor. To add a new vendor in Sage 50 Accounting, select Maintain Vendors from the menu bar to open the Maintain Vendors window. Type a new vendor ID into the Vendor ID field at the top of the window. This is the code you use to uniquely identify your vendors. Then click into the name field and type a name for the vendor. This is the name to show on reports and forms. You use the inactive checkbox to make an existing vendor record inactive. To inactivate an existing vendor, select their ID from the vendor ID field, check the inactive checkbox, and then click the Save button in the toolbar at the top of this window. To enter general vendor information if creating a new vendor, click the General tab. To enter a contact name for the vendor, type it into the Contact field. If needed to enter your account number assigned by this vendor, type it into the Account Number field. Enter the address to which you remit vendor payments into the Mailing Address fields and the City, State, Zip, and Country fields. If desired, to then copy this information to the primary Remit To Address on the Addresses tab, click the Copy To Remit To Address 1 button. Optionally, you can type a custom vendor type into the field of the same name or select a choice from prior entries you made from its dropdown. This field can be used to filter vendors for reporting purposes. To set the 1099 type for vendors that need a 1099 like subcontractors, select it from the 1099 type dropdown. To set the default general ledger account for transactions with this vendor, select it from the expense account field. You can also change this on a per transaction level as needed. Then type the main and secondary phone numbers into the Telephone 1 and Telephone 2 fields. If needed, type the fax number into the fax field. Then enter the vendor's email address into the email field. If needed, type the website address for the vendor's company into the website field. If needed, enter the specific values for the custom fields you created for vendors in the Vendor Defaults window, which now appear in the Customizable Fields section on the General tab. To enter remittance addresses for this vendor, click the Addresses tab. To copy the vendor's mailing address to any one of the selected Remit To Address lines shown, select the desired Remit To Address from the Copy Mailing Address To dropdown and then click the adjacent Copy button. Alternatively, to manually add or edit the information for the different Remit To addresses listed at the bottom of the Addresses tab, click into the desired row, and then enter the information into the column shown. To select the default address to use for payments and purchase orders sent to this vendor, use the Payments, and Purchase Orders dropdowns in the Address Defaults section. If you need to enter outstanding bills and amounts you owe to the vendor as of the company file's start date, click the History tab, and then click the Vendor Beginning Balances button. In the Vendor Beginning Balances window, then enter the dates and amounts of bills you received, but not yet paid to the vendors as of the start date of the company file. You do this if you add one or more outstanding bills from vendors which you owed as of the start date of the Sage 50 company file. You can then click the Save and Close buttons in the toolbar at the top of the window when you are finished. The History tab also tracks and shows your purchases, payments, and last payment information for the selected vendor.
This is updated every time you enter a transaction for a vendor. You can enter historical information when creating a new vendor. After that, Sage50 will track and show information about your recent transactions with this vendor on this tab. To enter purchasing information for the vendor, click the Purchase Info tab. If you have an employee who acts as a purchase rep for your company, you can select them from the Purchase Rep dropdown. To enter a tax number if you need to send a 1099 MISC or 1099 INT form to this vendor, enter it into the Tax ID Number field. To select the default shipping method used by this vendor to send you products, select it from the Ship Via field. You can always change this at the time of purchase too. To set specific purchasing terms for this vendor if they differ from your vendor defaults, Select the Customize Terms for this vendor choice from the Terms and Credit dropdown. Then set your specific purchasing terms from this vendor using the fields below the dropdown. To set how the vendor prefers to receive batch forms, select either the Paper Form or Email option in the Form Options section. If batch printing forms like purchase orders in the Select a Report or Form window, this choice determines whether the form is displayed for printing or automatically emailed. Optionally, to also email your purchase rep whenever you batch email a form, check the Email Purchase Rep when using Batch Processing to send forms checkbox. To replace the item ID within batch forms with either the item's UPC SKU or part number, Check the Replace Item ID checkbox and then select either the UPC slash SKU or Part Number option button. To use the last saved payments cash account and payment method when paying this vendor, check the Use Payment Method and Cash Account from Last Saved Payment checkbox in the Payment Settings section. Alternatively, to set a default cash account and payment method to use for payments, Uncheck the Use Payment Method and Cash Account from Last Saved Payment checkbox in the Payment Settings section, and then use the Payment Method dropdown to select the default payment method to use, and the Cash Account dropdown to select the default Cash Account to use. To save the vendor's information and leave it displayed on screen after entering the vendor's information into the Maintain Vendors window, click the Save button. Alternatively, to save the vendor's record and then create a new blank vendor record to enter another new vendor, click the Save and New button instead. Remember to click the Subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.